Put it down. CW, what the heck did you just make me do? Hey folks, and welcome back to After Work Gaming, and we are back in Abduction, and we're going to start moving, but right away I want to apologize for two things. The first is, we are not actually going to get into that minecart right away, we're going to go back to Farley's house, because it occurred to me last night, just as I was about to fall asleep, because that's the way this works with this game, uh, that I did not check one last thing in that house. There was actually a sliding panel on the projector, and I think there's another slide. And in fact, a user by the name of uh, Alder Lockwood, in a comment, confirmed as much. So I'm going to go back there right now. It's not a complete loss. Uh, there was a patch right before I recorded this, which fixed some lighting and prop work in the house. So here we are. And this is what I'm talking about. There we go. Now let's turn it back on. Ooh. Um. Okay. This seems to belong far more with uh, this slide here. There we go. Oh, nope. I'm back. A little bit. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so I still don't know what that means, but that's somewhat useful. Here we go. Slide it over to here. Center that one on the tree, the center dot on the tree. Uh, I'm almost positive that's not right. I'm almost positive that first slide, this one, is correct for this diagram, and then for that one it's the other diagram. But okay, so that's it for Farley's house. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what that, what that... I mean, I don't know what any of this is for, but... The thing that we went and checked. Otherwise we would have missed it. Now, the other thing I wanted to apologize for is obviously the last episode. Because I realized realized it was pretty self-apparent self that... Uh, 30 minutes of me reading stuff and listening to tape recorders... It may not be everybody's cup of tea. And I kind of feel like it's... Uh, it's going to be the Odso Admires the Door episode of this series. Ah. Uh, by the way, if anybody got that reference, please let me know in the comments, because the moment I said it, I realized it was an incredibly strange reference to make. Uh, it's a reference to a book called Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco, who sadly passed away very recently. Uh, and he was a semiotician. You know what I'm going to do? I was wondering this, actually. Because I can see the rocks from here, see? They're sparkling already on the display. Oh, down, down, over. Here we go. Can I take them out from here? Right? It suppresses the technology. Does it just suppress the hologram? Turn it off. It does! <laughs> <laughs> I understand the beam, but hold on. Oh my god. That's great. That's perfect. Okay. This was just a projection from this thing. That's fantastic. Oh man. And that's right, it, did, it would make sense, because in CW's wor warehouse, or workshop, there was one of these little machines that was projecting, uh, like, a solitary stone. Okay. So let's... So there's another bit like that. I could probably take the minecart over there. But first, let's go and take care of this red beam. Because... I mean, I guess we're going to listen to CW for now, even though we really don't trust them, or... At least I don't trust them. But in any case, uh, as I was saying, uh, name of the rose. Here we go. Flip it back, and let's just let's just go back here. Um, can I flip it from inside. I can. Perfect. Um, so in name of the rose. By the way, if any of you are interested in murder mysteries, the book is actually a murder mystery about. 
a Inquisition era monastery. So it's kind of interesting. But um, Echo was where are we here? Yeah, that's going totally not the right way. Flip it. We want to go see off of off on this part of the fork. But then. Yep, there we are. Uh, so Umberto Eco was a semiotician, which is the study of you know how we how we make meanings with words and symbols, which is rather apropos of this game actually. But in the book, boom. Um. Uh, boom. All right, shut it down. CW, what the heck did you just make me do? Uh. <laughs> you guys hear that? That sound. over here. It's like over there. Interesting. Okay, well let's talk to CW real quick and see if he, you know, like, ho ho ho, you did my dirty work. Uh, I'm so proud of you for listening to me and not asking any serious questions of my allegiances. Okay, here we go. Go CW. Uh huh. That all? I took down your red beam, man. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, so the beam is down. I know we have another set of rocks over there, so I guess we can always take the minecart over there. So let's just do that. I mean, we'll see. It's actually kind of interesting uh, if you really. Think about it a little bit and look at the diagram. It very much does look like a cell. You know, the tree is the nucleus, I guess the power plant could be the mitochondria, and everything else is just a bunch of different organelles. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the ride, is, is all. Okay, so we're going to go here. Go here now. Which way? Right. Come here, come here, switch. Perfect. I'm gonna flip this switch. Uh huh. We don't want to go there. We want to go. Want to fork off in th this direction. Perfect. And we're gonna fork not in that direction either. Fork here. Oh, sorry. That was—that's my bad. Kind of interesting. The the controls are reversed, so I have to hit back in order to go in this direction. It's kind of uh, a little disjointing. Disjointing? Yeah, it's probably a word. Okay, let's flip it. I'm going in the I'm going in the wrong direction. I forgot the direction that we had the switch hit. Here we go. Okay, and now it's a straight shot into that little area so that we can see the rocks, hopefully, and be able to get through the wall. Right? Otherwise, otherwise I just have to go and, and look at all of the green areas that were on Farley's map in her house. But no, no, no. Here's the door. door and can we see the rocks from here yeah we can with that suppressor um huh. we have to back up a little bit more 
Yeah, and there they are. They're sparkling red. Let's hit... No, down. There we go. Yes. And now we have a black void where the mine shaft is clear. Okay. Let's go take a look at what we uncovered. Another one of these transmitters. Perfect. Um... Okay. Moving on. And we walk through here. Uh huh. Uh huh. -huh. Oh, snap me in half. What just happened? So, this is not a one to one. Are we up top? Is this the scrapyard? We are. This is. We are and this is. And I just saw the wings of one of those things that was on top of Farley's house. Okay, well, let's just go and repeat our usual process here. I mean, that's paranoia of a great degree, but why not, right? There's numbers. Uh-huh. Can't open this any. Can I? No. That's kind of cool, though. This is not... A linear transition this is I'm almost tempted if any of you guys are familiar with the Poincaré half plane it's a it's a system of non Euclidean geometry it says that essentially you have to picture a ball that you cut in half and then project the light from within the center of it and it projects onto a flat plane and that's the Poincaré half plane and so, essentially, the principle stands that as you go towards the edges or towards the center, but principally towards the edges, you approach infinity. So, in theory, you can, in theory, you can circumscribe. But yeah, there's a lot of very strange concepts. It occurs to me, it occurs to me that I kind of want to go up on this bridge, but I'm not sure how to open that up. Walk past? No. It's a very mean-looking bridge, too. Mm -hmm. uh, it occurs to me that, that uh, I was sort of thinking about the seed concept, or the concept of the seeds, generally, and the fact that they react in pairs... Rock? No, it's just... The fact that they react in pairs and can be separated by... I like that whale. The whale. I like that whale. I also feel like it's a reference... Am I wrong? Is it a reference to mist? Somebody tell me in the comments. I think this might be a reference to mist. Um, uh, there it is. There you are. What are you? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Okay. So anyway, the fact that the seeds operate in tandem sort of reminds me of this concept of quantum entanglement physics. The idea that two particles, even though they're separated by a great distance, whether actual or relative, uh, can, operate, can assume and change states simultaneously so as to be linked. Uh, it's an actual phenomenon. It's just... It's interesting. It was they they were uh, they used that concept a little bit. If you guys played Mass Effect and Mass Effect Two and Three, they base a system of communications <laughs> off of it, uh, a system that even in the even in that game, given that it's set in the future, is obscenely expensive because you obviously affording quantum entangled entangled pairs of. I'm gonna go up there in a second. Yeah, entangled pairs is a rather expensive proposition, even in the far flung future, I suppose. Oh, well, this is promising. <laughs> right. Um, let's go up first. Yeah, so... So this is, I mean... Again, for a lot of you guys, I know watching this, you've, you've played Myst and or Riven. Uh, but for those of you who are coming fresh to these kind of games, the first thing you really want to do is just walk around everything, right? Because then, when you see clues, you'll just twig onto something. And you're like, oh, I remember, I saw this... 
this thing, right? So that's how we remember that we saw another pile of red glowing holographic rocks. Here we go. I wanted to read that. Here we go. New arrival inventory check-in. CRT, short hose, two switches, small tree, leather pouch, power supply, large sheet metal cabinet, wood flooring, light fixture, various count, country flags. Inventory check-in, right? Four metal poles, video camera, 16 car batteries, back half pickup truck. <laughs> Cardboard boxes, shelves, books, projector screen, chalkboard, slide projector, carpet, partial fence, and tomatoes. Two cassette recorders, a compressor, a hose, fuse box, electrical cable, various switches, assorted light bulbs, metal box, wire cutters, wire strippers, calculator, paints, assorted canvases, easel, several throw rugs, welder, power supply pump, section of I-beam, tin snips, and pliers. Apparently, I just learned this because of the patch notes, you can take photos of these things, of, uh, of books, which... Okay, listen, if they're going to let me take uh, photos of the books that give me clues, I am absolutely going to take photos of books that give me clues. Western Rails. Okay, where do these go? Did these... Yeah, no, these reflected before. These also reflected other stuff. Now, in theory... In theory... Oh! Oh, schnapps. Oh, schnapps. Um, this is where we're going to have to apply some non nonlinear thinking, folks. Let me just... Okay, so that's where we are. Go back here. Aha. Uh, who wants to bet dollars to donuts that these things end in in membranes as well? I'm just going to call it membranes. I mean, I'm just going to adapt their, like, cell analogy. Hook, line, and sinker here. Okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. How did I know? Well, I suspect at the moment I saw that every single wall leads you to a different portion. Yes. Okay. So this is where... Alright, but we know how to get here. This is the path that goes here to... Uh, through the rocks we just cleared, the little path, to Farley's house and back. So if we want to get the cart up here in order to take down some sort of Mofang technology, we would bring our cart here. Okay, good. I may have to recreate the map for this place from Farley's house. Is this the other? This is the other side of the river, guys. We are on the other side of... But well, we can't get down, so... <laughs> no, wait. Yes? No? No, maybe. And where does this take us? Uh... It's the cemetery? Yes, it's the cemetery. Again, see, without exploring all of the land before coming here, you wouldn't... R basically, spatial awareness of where you all came from is very useful in games like this. Huh. Uh huh. Interesting. I suspect I could... is actually kind of interesting. What happens if I... Oh, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I thought I could just lift the clutch one more time and let it spin all the way around. But I guess that doesn't happen. That can't happen. Because you see the I-beams. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. There was another path that we could follow. Another, another piece of track in this direction. We'll check that out, and then we'll, we'll descend down in the scoop. And we may go ahead and check out what's, you know... What? Wait a minute. Um. Ah. Are those... Are the flying things... First off, coming out of these shafts. But second of all, are the flying things the... Was it the Arai? One of the two alien species, right? There's the... There, I mean, there's the Mofang, obviously. Whoa. There's the Mofang, obviously. But there were the other two. There were the Valane and the Arai. The Valane are the large six six-limbed 
like brutes, for lack of a better term. Here. Anything? Any path down, maybe? No. Okay, yeah, I think the Valain are the brutes. I keep calling them brutes. They're probably something completely different, but... The Valain are, you know, the big things. And the Arai are the beetles and the barnacles. And I think the thing flying around is probably an Arai. I'm guessing. And walk under here. Sort of. Alright, let's take the scoop down. Now let's take this thing down and check out what's down there. And we will call it a day. Walking around. This has been... You know, I thought taking down the red the red beam, I was like, where are they going to go from there? Uh, but... Uh, this has been rather interesting now. Whole area, whole new area to explore. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know what I expected otherwise, but I, I was kind of, you know... Concerned for... Oh, yeah. I'm being silly. Concerned for a second, I'm like, oh, they're going to finally, you know break out the sound puzzles and I'm just gonna look like a complete complete idiot. Huh. Nothing? Nothing here for now. I mean, I'm sure that even the empty areas are gonna be not so empty at some point, right? That's just the way these games work. Not so anything meaning like there's going to be some specific interactable. Go down here. So this is the area on on Farley's map labeled supplies. And a lot of random, like, tat. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're basically hobos now, just picking through their trash. Right? Was there anything in particular? I feel like there was... There had to be a something... Well, that. That, obviously, in particular. Let's avoid that for now. I... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Open. Okay. Remember on the other side of this, they showed you where the... I'm gonna have to change... One, two, two. Remember, some things like the town didn't have power. Downtown, garage, CW Sphere, tower, junkyard, back, junkyard bucket, caves, barley. I know that downtown definitely didn't have power. Oh, and we're missing a, let's see, we're missing a handle here. Let me take a photo of this real quick. We're missing a handle here, right, because the handle is there. And unless we're not, unless we're not meant to move these. Now we can't move. Right? But we can always Huh. Well, well, let's not push that yet. So if we have to switch out some of these breakers to power up, like, the town, for example, let's just keep that in mind real quick. Real quick. Let's just keep that in mind. Period. Over here. A whole lot of bupkis for now. All right, let's go check out what's in here, because this thing's in here. That's... F Oil sale, only 15 cents. Moola Cola sense. What are you? Uh, um. Uh, okay. Alright, there's papers here. And there's other stuff here. Let me just make sure. I mean, I'm seeing electrical... Do guys and do dads. My highly technical term for it. No, we can't open that. Of course not. Okay. But there have to be breakers. I'm almost positive. Let's just open this door. 
Oh, the garage doesn't have power either. Ah. The garage bucket. I don't know what that means. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's call it there. Why not? Let's call it there for now. The next, when we come back, we'll go ahead and try and figure, well, but first of all, we'll read all of these pieces of paper around here. But then we'll also try and figure out what this is all about and then go back and figure out the breaker situation. I suspect we're going to have to flip breakers around and maybe that we're going to have to power pieces down in order to, you know, power back up other areas like downtown. But uh, if you like this episode, you know, like, comment, subscribe. let lets me know uh, that I'm doing something right. If you think I overlooked something, if you think I should be doing something different, uh, or otherwise, if you have constructive criticism, by all means, leave me a comment. Uh, everything's welcome. And in any case, I will see you all next time. Better, 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 better